So, uh, yeah, my name is Alan Jasanoff. I'm a professor of biological engineering, and I also have appointments in brain and cognitive sciences and in nuclear science and engineering. And my work uh, really exists at the interfaces between those different fields, uh, especially between bioengineering and neuroscience. Uh, my chief interests are in uh, finding out new ways to look at the brain, to uh, understand how, brain, uh, how brains function uh, at an integrative or, or, or sort of brain-wide scale. And to do that, we need new tools. That's where the bioengineering uh, comes into uh, my life. Uh, we develop uh, new technologies for measuring uh, how brains function um, at molecular and cellular scale, but in a way where we can actually see much of the brain at the same time. And we do that by developing uh, what are called molecular probes. They're basically tiny little molecules that go into the brain and um, respond to things that are going on, uh, for instance, to uh, the cellular signaling that underlies behavior and cognition, and also um, uh, the little chemicals, neurochemicals like neurotransmitters that allow nervous cells in the brain to communicate. So our little molecular probes go into the brain, we have to put them there usually, um, and uh, then we use imaging uh, to map them in three dimensions and also over time. And then we use those data to try to figure out how uh, dynamics of brain function relate to uh, behaviorally significant things that brains do. So I started my life, um, my professional life, as a molecular biologist. I actually uh, did my PhD in a field called structural biophysics where we study uh, the shapes of molecules and how their shapes enable them to perform functions. And that um, beginning uh, is actually still part of my life, um, but it became the underpinning uh, for what I now do. I sort of got, um, I, I wanted a wider view of biology and um, also a connection to, uh, uh, to, to the sort of the large questions, the big questions in, uh, in, in uh, you know, human biology and, and, and the natural world. And so I took my molecular know-how and tried to apply it to uh, understanding of brain function. And um, we haven't gotten all the way there yet, actually, to be perfectly honest. Um, we've used molecular design principles uh, to try to build up uh, these tools that I referred to um, to study uh, brain function. I think we've made um, significant strides in that direction. Um, and I really began that uh, actually as a postdoc, so I, I, I was a fellow at the Whitehead Institute. We started making these molecules at that point. Um, we've, we've now made a number of these sensors, uh, molecular probes for, for, for measuring brain function, and we're using them so far in animals. You know, one day uh, we want to be using these things in people, and we also want to vastly uh, extend the scope of their application in animals. What we're doing in our lab is still very much an exploratory uh, 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 set of research directions, uh, uh, tools that are you know, mainly used in our lab because um, they're not easy enough uh, for other people to use. And so um, we've, we're continuing to work in that direction now. Uh, I've, uh, you know, personally always had an interest in kind of the more philosophical, the more, um, y you know, uh, abstract side of, of science, and uh, in particular, um, uh, the science of the mind. Um, I didn't have the patience to specialize in that um, uh, for a living. Um, instead, I was attracted to, I would say, the certainty of molecules and of, of you know, basic research biology, uh, which I've also always enjoyed. Um, but I think the union of these kind of um, uh, higher level questions about what makes people do what they do and the very low level desire for certainty, for mechanistic explanation of the natural world, the union of those things is often to be found um, in neuroscience. And I think you'll find if you survey enough neurosciences, there, there are many people who've been motivated by the kinds of uh, uh, influences that I think steered me. Um, so the brain is um, probably the most enigmatic of the organs in our body and uh, I think one can easily spend one's life uh, studying it.